Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to enable or disable the Steam input and then restart the game. So first of all, close the game, then go to Steam, make a record in the game, go to properties and go to controller tab. Over here you can see override for the game. Now you over here you can select enable Steam input. Now relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even uh, go to control tab once again. You can even try disable Steam input and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to enable Steam input for generic controller and then relaunch the game. Now for this, go to Steam, go to settings, go to controller tab. Now over here, scroll down here, you can see enable Steam input for generic controllers. You can turn it on and then relaunch the game. When you launch the game, like it will, the controller will work with wrong input. Then you have to close the game. So again, close the game and then once you close the game, go back, Steam settings, controller, you can turn off this enable Steam input for generic controllers. Turn this off again, relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to go to human interface device in device manager, make our active in the start menu, go to device manager expand human interface device now over here if you find any any keyboard or mouse over here like if you find key chrome or razor hand span keyboard or mouse over here uh, you can just make a right click and you can disable that this is just an example i don't have it but if you find key chrome keyboard or mouse or razor hand span keyboard and mouse you can make a right click and disable it and then relaunch the game disconnect external keyboard and mouse which you're not using so if you have any kind of external keyboard and mouse connected disconnect it if you have key crone razor huntsman keyboard connected or mouse connected disconnect it disconnect key crone razor huntsman if you have the dongle for it connected disconnect the dongle disconnect any kind of dongle or usb adapter connected to the computer like usb flash drive thumb drive any kind of usb devices adapter connected disconnect it disconnect razor starters unplug flight simming hardware like if you have external devices like OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect it. Disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any virtual controller connected like Vijo, etc., you can, you can just uh, disable it or uninstall it. Any kind of virtual joystick application installed in the computer, you can disable it or uninstall it and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. PlayStation controller, you can enable it in sound control panel. Use the wired connection for this. Now for this, uh, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now over here, go to hardware and sound. Go to, now go to sound over here, click on sound. Now connect your controller using the USB cable. Use the wired connection. Now once you connect it, you will see DualSense wireless controller. Make a right click, enable it. If this is disable, enable it and then go to configure speakers and then quadraphonic. Next, make sure front, left, right, surround speaker both are checked over here and then click on next over here. Click on finish. OK, and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Now, still not working. The next step is to use wired connection. So you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then check. Next step is to select controller which you want to use and then you can restart the game. So you can type in USB game controllers in Windows search box. Click on set up USB game controllers. And over here, go to advanced option. Click on advance over here and you can select the speaker. If you want to use DualSense, you can select it. If you want to use Xbox controller, you can select the controller which you want to use and then click on OK. OK and then relaunch the game. Now still not working. The next step is to PlayStation controller user. You can use this DS4 Windows application. You can search in Google, download it, install it and then configure your controller and then check. Next step is to update controller using PlayStation accessories or Xbox accessories app. Now, if you have Xbox controller, you can open Microsoft Store on your computer. And in the search box, you can type in Xbox accessories app over here.
and click on Xbox Accessories app. Here you can see Xbox Accessories app. If not installed, you can install it and then you can launch Xbox Accessories app. Now, once you launch it, you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. You have to connect your, you have to use the wired connection for this and then connect your controller. Once you connect, it will detect your controller over here and then click on these three dots, more options, and then you will see update option. Click on update, click on continue and let the update complete. Now, once the update is complete, let it complete first and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Now, if you have a PlayStation controller, in that case, you can use PlayStation Accessories app. So you can search in Google, go to official PlayStation website and over here you can see download for Windows. So you can click on download for Windows and then you can run this exe file in my case and install it. In my case, it is already installed. So once installed, you can launch PlayStation Accessories app. Right now it's telling me to update. So just use the latest version and then connect your controller using the, uh, you have to connect your controller. Connected, you will see your controller over here. If it's, it's not up to date, then you will see update option. In my case, it's up to date. It's already up to date. So if you see update option, you can update your controller and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The last step is to uh, launch steam in big picture mode now for this you can go to steam at the top right here you can see big picture mode icon click on it now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can click on the game over here and now you can launch the game when the steam is in big picture mode and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the control working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.